Hi you all, welcome to the channel. My name is Clody, and today I'm going to be doing a review and try on of some of the navigation leggings that I recently purchased at their launch, which was on February the 19th. That was a Saturday. I didn't think the shipping time took too awfully long on these. I received these on Monday, February the 28th, so it was a little over a week, so I thought that was pretty good for shipping. I'm going to start out with these leggings right here. They are the Signature 2.0 leggings. They are in the color of Latte, which I thought was a really pretty color. They're really soft and stretchy. They're really, really stretchy. And on the back, we have the navigation logo there, and it is a V seam, and it does have a seam in the back. In the front, it does not have the seam in the front. And these are really long. I like that. They fit me really well, come right to my ankle. You don't find that in a lot of, lot of leggings, but on these, I did notice that, that they uh, come down far enough, which I like. Most leggings come maybe <laughs> this far above my ankle, or sometimes they'll come right at my ankle, but, but that is rare. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the try-on. Here they are with me, with them on me, of course, and I thought the booty looked decent. Nothing to write home about. Um, I thought these being a little bit thin, you can see the cellulite. Um, I have cellulite there on my legs, and usually that shows up if the legging is thin. I like to wear my shirt down normally with leggings just because that's how I am, <laughs> but uh, the squat proof test, I would think probably a 70 to an 80 percent. They're definitely not totally squat proof. They look decent on, I feel like, and they're the length again, as you can see that they uh, are definitely long enough for me, which I do really appreciate in a leggy. And I don't feel like you have a lot of camel toe, no camel toe, loving it. All right, the next pair that I'm gonna talk about are the Scrunch Seamless. I have these in the color Fuchsia. They have a ribbed waist brand. As far as compression, these are really compressive. I would say a medium to high in the compression. They are seamless. And on the back, of course, they have the Scrunch booty and then the navigation logo there on the back. They're not super stretchy. I would say probably a medium. And these look really, really good on the booty. And I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the review. Here we go. That's what they look in the front. No camel toe there. The booty looks really nice in these leggings, I feel like. You can still see my shoulder light a little bit in these. Um, so I would prefer them to be a little bit uh, thicker, but Squat proof, I feel like 100%, just about, or 99.9% .9 on squat proof. They look nice on the booty. And these are pretty good on length as well. They're a little bit higher than I like, but not bad at all. The next pair here are the solid seamless leggings. These are in the color of emerald. And they are really pretty color. They're definitely in the green fam family. They also have the ribbed waistband and on the back they have a na the navigation logo. These right here, I don't know if you've watched my channel a lot, but you, if you have, you know that I really love Gymshark. These remind me a lot of their fit mid-rise leggings. They fit very, very similar. And uh, actually, one of the fit is actually one of my favorite leggings. So we're gonna hop into the try on here. As you can see, they, they're quite flattering on the booty. And really, they haven't got any contouring or anything like that. They're just a, a plain legging, but I do feel like they're very flattering. Squat proof there, I would say probably 80 to 95%, probably somewhere around that range. I felt comfortable at the gym in those, and I did do squat what's and the let the the length is a little bit shorter than i like but on on most leggings they are i just like mine long and, and me being taller um i usually cannot find them that where they go all the way to my ankle but that's just something you live with when you're taller <laughs> 
The next pair I want to talk about are the contour leggings, and I really did like these leggings. Uh, like I said, if you watch my channel, do you know that I love Gymshark leggings, but I really did like these leggings. I didn't care for the Signature 2.0. I just felt like they were entirely too thin for me. But the other three pair I have really liked, surprisingly. And the price is not too bad when you can when you compare it to the Gym Shark price. These are in the color of Candy Apple. They have a ribbed waistband. And they have that contour down the side there. Right there. And then on the back, they have the navigation logo. And they got the little B here with the rib material as well. And then they got the contour under the booty right there. And they're fairly stretchy. They were really comfortable. I wore these at the gym and they fit really, really well. Uh, with all of these that I wore, I, I didn't wear the scrunch booty or I didn't wear the signature 2.0 yet. But the other two pair I did wear at the gym and they didn't, um, I didn't have to pull at them or anything like that. They fit very well. I like the way they fit. So let's hop into the try on here. Here they are on, you can see that nice contour down the front there. Navigation in the back with the contour right under the booty. I did have a struggle getting that up high enough to be right under my booty. I think I could have probably pulled it up just a little bit more, but I was uh, tired of tugging at it. These I would say are probably um, 85 to 95% squat proof. And the length is decent. It comes right above my ankle. Uh, one of them's a little short, but sometimes you get that. But all in all, I did uh, like all of these leggings. The well, except the the signature ones. I did. I didn't really care for those. Uh, they were really soft and comfortable, but I just didn't care for the way they looked, and they were just a little bit too thin for me. I really did love the length on them, though. But all in all, I did like the other three pair, and I wouldn't have a problem buying those again. I hope that this video has helped you out, and if it did, I hope you will hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to my channel, and if you want notifications when I post a new video, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Bye.